G'day, it's Andrew from Golden Star Automotive. Uh, today we're going to um, demonstrate how to install the new rear main seal in our Volkswagen TSI CWA engine. Um, they've replaced the seal, it's got a superseded seal from the earlier one. Uh, we'll show you the issue that the earlier seal had uh, and why they've replaced it and how to install the new seal, which requires a couple of special tools for the, uh, the installation. If you don't have them tools, you're going to damage the seal, it's going to leak, so you might as well not do the job at all. So when we look at the original seal here, this is the way that the flange mounts to the engine, so this faces out. This is the original type seal that goes in there, like so. So when you install that seal, it just push, simply pushes over the end of the crankshaft, um, acts as a seal. Now it lasts for a little while, but over time what happens is where they've glued the seal, to the backing plate, it becomes detached, and uh, therefore, instead of the, the, the oil leaking up past the crankshaft and the seal, it leaks around the back of the housing between the seal and the housing. So, Volkswagen have, uh, have recognised that, they've come out with a new and improved version. So, this is the new seal, so it sort of goes in there and it's sort of peened and bonded in there a little bit better. Now, the difference between this seal and the old one is that pushed on straight over the back, um, the lip faced out. Not the ideal design for a seal. Um, they've overcome that with the new one. The new one goes on, now the lip goes forward. So it acts as a bit of an edge for the, uh, the oil to come up against. Instead of being able to flow through like so, it comes up against a bit of a sharp edge. Now, the issue with that is that you need the special tools to install it. You cannot fit that onto the end of the crankshaft without damaging it, without the special tool. So the tools that we've got here is there's a, a tapered driver that will then insert it up onto the installation tool. They simply slip together like so. The seal, we've got a little light film of oil on there. No rubber grease, anything required for this design of seal. Sit it on the bench, push the seal over. So the seal is guided up onto there by the tapered cone. We then remove that off of there. So the seal is now fitted to the installation tool. So now what we need to do is we just need to put a nice layer of um, engine sealant on the flange and then we can show you how to install that on the engine. We are at the, uh, at the rear of the engine where the seal mounts to the back of the block. Um, you can see we've put a nice uh, layer of elastic around the seal housing here. We've primed the back of the block there. Now it's simply just a matter of slipping on the uh, installation tool over the, uh, the spigot in the hole here. Now this is quite um, a precise hole, um, so there's a bit of wiggling and jingling to get it on there. But once it lines up, it'll, uh, it'll slip in there beautifully. So just like so. So we hold that up against the end of the crankshaft and then it's just a matter of feeding the seal on there like so. A couple of little locating dowels, little dents in there push them in, remove the installation tool. Grab a couple of our little screws. One there. Oops, just a little bloke. One in there. And uh, so we just go around, um, talk them up to spec and uh, that's the job done. So that's the installation of the uh, new and improved rear main seal in the back of a Volkswagen TSI uh, CAWA engine. Thanks for watching.